What's up everyone, it is me Sivo. In today's video we're going to be doing sprites and animations. So what we are going to do is make the character walk left and right. And every time we walk left it does the left walk animation. Every time we walk right it does the right uh, animation. Okay guys, one second before we start coding. Uh, I want you guys to check out my main channel. It's where I put all my editing skills to use. And I will feel like you guys would really enjoy it. Okay, let's get to the video. So let's get started. So first you're going to have to download the sprites. So here are the all the sprites here. I will leave it down in the description. Download it. You're gonna have left, right, you're gonna have a standing, and you're also gonna have some like background. It's just a random background, it don't really go with anything, but it's just to show how you can um, put in. And we're gonna be resizing the background. So, um, all we're gonna have to do is um, in, basically we're gonna image load. So, what you're gonna do is just go above all of this stuff, and we're just gonna do um, walk right. And we're just going to do that equal to so as a list so pi game dot image dot load and then we're just going to load in so the file so the file is hero slash and then the name of it's going to be r1 and the reason we're using list is because we're going to go through each one but the thing is um i'm not going to write all this out because it goes all the way up to what does it go up to r like r9 and i've already got it written down so i'm going to copy and paste it because um well this will take a while i will leave it down in the description copy and paste this actually because i know you guys you won't really learn much from but keep writing it and writing it and then i'll do the same for walk left and then you're also going to do the same for standing so if you're not going left and right it's going to have be a um standing so we're just going to call this one character and now once we have done that we can do all the coding so also oh no we also have to get the background so just do bg equals High game dot image dot load and then we're just gonna get in a file so hero slash bg dot png and because the background's um a lot bigger we're gonna have to resize it into our dimensions so how we do this is just do bg equals pi game dot transform and then we just do scale and then we're gonna scale the bg and then we're just gonna give it 500 by 500 so that'd be perfectly inside and now we're going to create some variables. So if we go underneath to jump, we go underneath to jump, we're just going to create three variables. So we're going to do left is equal to false. Then we're going to do right is equal to false. And then we're going to make a walk count equal to zero. So basically they're false because we're going to make them. So if you do do like click A or click D, it's going to go true. And then it will run the command. So now if we scroll down here, uh, actually no, we're going to be making a function. So we're going to be putting, so basically all this, we're going to delete all of this. So just delete all this. Now go up here. And then we're going to write a def function. So basically def uh, draw um, scene. So we're going to draw in a scene. And then we're just going to do global. And we're going to grab the walk count. And then we're also going to add the background. So we do this by doing win.blip. And then we're just going to put in the background. And then we're just going to put at the top left. So zero, zero. And then once we have done that, uh, we can actually go back down here and we can put in the, the function. So draw scene. So now if we play it, it will draw the background onto the scene. Okay, the reason it didn't do that is because we need to do pygame.display. I've got about that display dot update, just like that. Now if we run it again, as you see, the background is on the screen. As you see there, it is a flappy bird background because I didn't know what background to get. So I just got this one. But anyways, um, let's start. So basically, okay, so we're going to do if walk count, uh, walk count here, plus one is greater than 27, then walk count is equal to zero. And then, okay, so we're going to do if left. So basically, if left is true, then it's going to do win dot blitz. So we're going to grab the sprite, basically. We're going to grab the walk left sprite. And then we're going to um, get the walk count. And then we're going to divide this by three. We'd use two slashes as it gets whole division number. And then we're going to get it by the X and Y. And now once we have done this, we're just going to do walk count plus equals one. And then that should be all that for that. Now we're going to do it for the right. So if right, win dot blip, win dot blip. And then we're going to get the walk uh, right. And then we're going to grab the walk count. And then um, to make sure you divide it by three again, and then we're also going to get the X and Y, just like that. And now once you have done that, we're going to do an else, but for, oh crap, I've got to do this, plus equals one, as we need to add on to it. 
Now we can do an else, uh, but this should be an elif, my bad. And then we're going to do an else like this. Then once we have done it, uh, we're going to print the standing one. So if we're not going left on right, we're going to have the standing character. So we just do this by doing win.blit. We get the character. And then we just get this on the X and Y. <laughs> nice and simple. Okay, guys, that is everything for that. Now we can do the keys. So let's go down to him. So if we go to the right, basically, left is going to be true, isn't it? So left is going to be equal to true. And if we go to... And that, that also, that means right is going to be false. So basically, if left is uh, true, then it will run this, basically. And now we can do the same thing for this. So... If we're going, um, I mean, that's for right. If we're going left, wait, I got A and D, so confused around. All right, if we're going right, <laughs> left is going to be false. And then if we go um, uh, right, then um, right is going to be true. That If that makes sense, I confuse myself there as well. Else, we're going to make them both false. So else, so this is if you're standing. So else, left is equal to false. And right is also equal to false and um walk count is going to be equal to zero all right and now we're going to do it the same kind of thing for jumping so because if we jump we don't want it to run any animations so if we go over to the space bit here we're just going to do right equals false and we're just going to do left equals false just like that okay now this should be all of there to it so now if we play it we've got a character here and as you can see um a doesn't work for some reason okay guys the reason it didn't work is because we've got the we did it if if else you meant to do an elif here as well so now if we play it we can go left and we can go right but as you see it goes off the screen and it's a bit odd each way so we can actually fix that through just changing the values a bit um so we do this by it's pretty simple actually so instead of we can just do 470 and then for this we can just do velocity take away width and now if we run this, it's going to go about here. And then if we go all the way here, it's going to go about here. So it's the equal side. So yeah, this is us running along. We can still jump. We ain't got a jump animation, but you can use this to figure out how to make a jump animation. See? Boing, 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 boing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like and subscribe and goodbye.